Hello and welcome back to another Excel tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the differences between formulas and functions in Excel and when to use each. Hey, what's up? Chad here with Determined Data, helping you organize and manage your information in the most efficient way possible. If you're new here, on this channel I do Excel tips and tricks videos as well as tutorials just like this one, so if you find it helpful, consider subscribing. So what is the difference between Excel formulas and functions? Let's first take a look at what formulas are by finding the total and average of this column here. Formulas and functions are both started in the same way, and that is with an equal sign. So to find the total using formulas, we need to start with an equal sign, and then start putting in our mathematical formula. So we click on the cell, and then we'd hit the plus sign, and then the next cell, plus sign, and so on. Once you have all the cells in your formula that you want added, you just hit enter, and there you have your total. Now to find the average using a formula, we'd again start with an equal sign, and then we click on our total, and then divide it by the amount of reps we have, and that is eight and hit enter. And there we have our total and our average using formulas. And if you come up here to the formula bar, you can see exactly what we, the formula behind the value here that is doing the work. Again, if I click on this total, you can see it gives us all the cells that are being added together. Now let's delete these and take a look at how we can get the same result using functions. Once again, we start a function by hitting the equal sign. But instead of putting in a mathematical formula now, we're going to use special syntax, and that is the difference between function and formulas in Excel. Now we want the sum of these numbers, and so we're going to enter in the syntax sum, and you see here Excel has a function called sum, and we click on it, and now we want to select the range of cells that we want added, and it gives us a range of cells B2 through B9. Close parentheses, hit enter, and there we have our total for this column. Now for the average, it's basically the same thing. Again, we'd start with the equal sign, and now we hit in for the syntax average. Right here you see there's an average syntax, and now we select the range that we want averaged, close parenthesis, hit enter, and now we have our average. Now let's take a look at an easier and faster way to get these, these results using functions. So we'll delete this, We'll select this range, come up here to under our home tab, all the way to the right to our auto sum. And it gives us right below it the, the sum of our column. And for the average, we'll do the same thing. We'll select our range of cells that we want averaged, come up here to our auto sum button, but instead of hitting auto sum, we'll click on the drop down list and we'll go to average. And there it drops down our average right below the total. So the key difference between formulas and functions in Excel is that formulas are mathematical operations within a cell. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all that, where functions have special Excel syntax that have parameters that need to be filled. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content. 